I can't wait uh, to get down to uh, business when it comes to getting my own pair of bespoke shoes. Uh, my idea is to kind of get myself, you know, the Oxfords have always held their charm, so you yeah. can't move too away from it. Hangless. But I'd like to make it more contemporary. Certainly, certainly. So how does one go about it? Well, I'm glad to hear that you're willing to experiment. Otherwise, uh, you'll be quite a simple process. <laughs> we first understand your feet, right, and measure them up, and then put you through a fitting process. The measurement process is the first step, no pun intended. And this to get that perfect pair of bespoke shoes. Sizing up each foot to understand its structure, because as I realized, one foot can be bigger than the other. The foot is drawn out and measured for length and width. Measurements duly noted, you get to try out a pair close to your size. Okay, I'm going to just take, take a walk. And here's where you figure out the exact fitting of the pair of shoes that's going to be made for you. Is it snug or is it, it is snug. snug? The expert does a quick check of the length, the tightness on different parts of the foot, whether it's snug or not, and indeed, the general comfort. It's nice and snug. What about this area? Um, that is the tightest part. I pretty much like what I'm wearing and ask him to go ahead. Yeah, I like it. It's giving me height. So measurements done, Victor. Now, Great. it's about choosing the kind of leather that's going to make this pair of shoes. All right. My idea is to get a classic wingtip, which Victor tells me easily transits from a day to evening pair. With that idea in place, we browse through a kaleidoscope of leather swatches to get to the one that I've been looking for. The colour combination is very important. I've been looking for an oxblood red for some time now. Great. But I'd want to try out different tones with it, so what would you suggest? Victor pulls out an oxblood red swatch, just the kind that I had in mind. He convinces me to go for the lighter shade of red to give my pair of shoes an edge when it comes through finely. He suggests that I combine it with black mock rock leather that will run all around the shoe till the back and the red will take up the vamp for a classy dual tone effect. On his iPad, he shows me a picture of what my final pair of shoes is going to look like. Ah, uh, full wingtip Oxford. I'm excited by what I see at least and I'm told that once it's stitched and ready, my shoes will arrive at the heel and buckle store at the Palladium Mall in Mumbai from where I can collect it. The pampering and the exclusivity of a bespoke pair of shoes is only one side of the story. On a more practical level, you get exactly what you want. Like I wanted an oxblood red, but nothing that was too in your face so that I could wear it at soirees and parties at a slightly uh, formal event. That's exactly what I get. And also, they account for the various nuances of your feet so that it's a good fit and you're feeling comfortable all the time. But besides that, if you're vertically challenged, just the way I am, they also give you some padded heel inside. It's a little secret, but when you stand, you stand really tall, which in my case is altogether good. The dust is first brushed off and then cleaned with a welt brush. Bring on the shoe cream next. If you want to preserve the original colour of your shoes, Paris Hilton may have what is best described as Shoeland with more than a thousand stunning pairs of shoes.